I feel so out of my element. Well, um, welcome to our kitchen. Over the Christmas holiday, my cousins and I do a secret Santa tradition with each other every year. And I had one cousin this year who gifted me the greatest gift of all, which is the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge cookbook of all of the recipes. I'm assuming like straight up what they use. It's the official Black Spire Outpost cookbook. So like what you would be served if you were to go to Galaxy's Edge, which we have yet to go. And I specifically remember that we were in Barnes and Noble one day and saw this book and I really wanted it because I wanted to try it out. Like this stuff all looks super legit in here. So, and I was like, this could be perfect to integrate into the channel somehow and do some cooking content. The first thing that I went searching for as soon as I got the book was none other than the blue milk. I figured that would be a good first recipe to like, you know, warm up, get our, get our kitchen legs going, uh, see how you guys like it. And maybe we'll, you know, start it up on the channel as a regular thing that I will <laughs> cook some recipes out of this book. But this one is only 15 minute cooking time. Difficulty level is easy. So I feel like this is a good beginner's blue milk for our new little segment on the channel of cat, cat cooks. Um, not well, so. But one of the most curious parts of this recipe was the fact that I had to literally hunt down like so many of these ingredients. Like for, for a milk, like a drink recipe, there's a lot of like spices and I'm really curious as to how this is gonna like go down. The key ingredient that was the hardest for me to get hold of, I mean, it wasn't hard, I had to just got, get it on Amazon, uh, is the blue butterfly pea flower tea. Uh, that we are going to be using that is what's going to give us a healthier version of the blue color versus straight up food dye, which would not be good. Uh, but also I think the tea gives it some flavor. Now I did just brew a cup because I straight up wanted to do a little taste test beforehand and also just see how blue it makes it. And guys, literally look at this tea bag. It's blue. I would show you, I can't really fully show you. Oh, okay. Um, it doesn't smell good. <laughs> It smells really earthy. <laughs> it does not smell good. Maybe I brewed it for too long. Anyway, this is a taste test. <sighs> All right, don't go off of the smell. Don't go off the smell, okay. Okay, it doesn't taste as offensive as it smells, which is a good sign, which means maybe this recipe isn't gonna go down the drain. <sighs> but one of the other key components of this recipe is rice milk. And I also haven't really tried rice milk. I'm glad that it's a non-dairy source of milk because I don't drink regular milk to begin with. So I'm glad that it was originally an inherently dairy free recipe, but I'm gonna do a taste test of the rice milk since that's gonna be the main component of this. <laughs> and so far the tea itself didn't taste very good. So let's see how the milk tastes. Step one is gonna be cutting up this ginger. See, can you tell I'm not equipped for this? I have a feeling the ginger is where a lot of this flavor is gonna come from. I mean, that rice milk on its own was super sweet. And then you'd pretty much just add a bunch of spices. Like it's a very weird recipe. I definitely don't, I haven't really even kept track of how much ginger this is. Like how am I supposed to gauge what one inch of ginger is? So I have to, all oh, right, I have to remember this. I'm doubling the recipe because the recipe ingredients and the instructions in the book are only yielding one serving. And Tom and I both wanted to try this. So I'm doubling everything. So that makes it harder. Cause then I, now I have to do math. That's our main ingredients. Oh, shnikes. Okay, so I need to, um, thought there would be more steps in between, but now it's like, oh, add all the ingredients. Okay. This is weird that I'm just putting the tea bag, whatever. This is how you make, this is how you make tea. This is essentially like a fancy tea recipe. Ah, see, this is why I am, I really re refrain from cooking because I just get, I, I, I panic. I don't do well. Ah, I don't do well under pressure. Okay, I need just a pinch of that. That's like freaking powerful. Okay. I'm also concerned because this recipe called for um, mace as an ingredient, which I didn't think was edible. So I'm not even gonna risk uh, sniffing that one because I don't wanna do that. What's a pinch? Please let me be eyeballing this correctly. That's the other thing. I need exact 
I can't eyeball this. I can't wing this. I need exact measurements. Now I gotta keep whisking, keep whisking, keep whisking. Ah! It's starting to smell spicy, so I haven't put the tea in yet. I also just feel like I look so, like, not the same in this lighting. I don't know, maybe because this is you guys seeing me in my natural habitat. <laughs> All right, I feel like it's ready. I'm gonna add the, the tea bag now. And this is what is gonna give it its color. So we're gonna let that sit. But yes, please do let me know if you actually have gone to Galaxy's Edge and you've been to, is it actually called like the Black Spire Outpost? Like the cantina where you can go to get food? Oh, I should be keeping track of the time. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping that the tea doesn't negatively influence the flavor profile too much. Whoa. All right, it has been five minutes. The tea is looking very blue. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more little whisk just to blend it all together. And then we're gonna transfer it to my little glasses here. All right, so it does say to use a strainer. Um, actually, no, we have one. Whoa, this actually made so much. It's blue. It's definitely blue. She is blue. This looks just like blue milk. Oh my God. Okay, it's a little bit warm, so we're gonna let it cool for a second. Literally, oh my gosh. This looks straight out of Luke Skywalker's apartment. Like, I'm honestly like a little bit scared, but it's really satisfying knowing that the blue color is is naturally sourced from the butterfly tea and that it's not just like blue food coloring. Just to give you like an example, this is this is the paper towel that had the tea bag on it as I like removed it from the pot. You could tie dye with this actually. This that's how powerful it is. The color scheme really looks like exact. Like this literally looks like blue milk. I'm honestly scared. So yes, obviously I made two servings, one for myself, one for Tom to try. No, we have to try it together. It's also a little bit warm, so I'm letting it like cool down. Like it's kind of hot. How's it going everyone? Duck down. Look how tall you are. Oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, maybe um, we'll give it a second. Be back in 15. <laughs> yeah. The mug is still really hot, but I think it's just because it's glass. See, I can smell, I like... smell the tea. Like, I feel like it's gonna taste like the tea. Ready, set, bottoms up. Be careful, it could be really hot. I said be careful! It's so hot, my tongue is fried. I said be careful! I'm not gonna be able to taste the rest of oh it. Oh my god, I said be careful! But it was good, it's good. It's really sweet, I think it's because there's four tablespoons of sugar in there. It's good. It's actually so good. It's spicy. Spicy? What do you taste? Like hot? Like, like spices. It's definitely, there's a lot of spices in it. I can taste like the ginger, the... It's very gingery. Yeah, nice job. And I just can't get over what? that it literally looks like, I, exactly like blue milk. It's so I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad this wasn't a fail, guys. I'm proud of myself. Then again, this was also the easiest recipe in the book. So let me know if you would like to see us try something. You're actually gonna keep drinking it. It is really actually so good. I would totally make this again. So 10 out of 10 recommend. Like I said, you can probably bootleg this recipe off of, off of the internet. But as I mentioned, uh, for the sake of respecting the fact that you have to pay to get the book, I don't want to be disrespectful and then just go broadcasting all the secret recipes from Black Spire Outpost. So I hope you guys understand, but uh, if you can get your hands on the book or you can find it online, I definitely recommend. This is like super, super good, super fun. This would be super fun for like a Star Wars themed party or something like that. But yes, I guess that concludes this video. It was a job well done. It was successful. We did it, guys. I feel like I'm ready to try some of the harder recipes now or do, do something else to make this a little more entertaining. So let me know. I'll probably do a poll in the comments of which recipe I would be willing to try next. Let me know your suggestions below. If you've tried their blue milk, it's technically called Bantha Chai, but I mean, come on, it's, it's blue milk. Let me know what your thoughts were. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you're all doing so well as always. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye guys.